Is it possible to do the Rob Top levels using only the cube? No. I don't think it's gonna be possible to do any of these levels with only the cube, but we're gonna give it a shot. I think the main point of today is to see which level can you get through the most of. One nice thing about the cube is that the setup for these levels is going to be exceptionally easy because the camera follows the cube, so we don't have to put a bunch of extra portals to make the camera go up. Don't even have to change the initial game mode either, right? Why am I... What? What is Stereo Madness possible using only the cube? Well, I'll tell you this much. We start off with the cube, and in all of these initial levels going all the way up until cycles, there's only two game modes. There's the cube and the ship. And so I think we're going to be able to do like quite a high percentage on these levels until we get to the ship. And then as soon as we get to the ship, we're basically screwed, right? Because look at this. So I fall down here and then there's going to be a bunch of spikes and I'm going to die. Ah! All right. Stereo Madness, we can get up to 35%. You know what? Back on track or Polar Geist might actually be possible. Back on track looks almost possible. All right. We're going to the ship. Now look at that. See, you can climb up these little staircases. Woo! Okay, can you actually get up that? I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yo! Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, yes, you can. And you can jump over that way. And then that's where we get to failure. Oh, man. Hey, we made it pretty far. We made it through most of the ship and back on track. But the, the, the little, those dang little spikes on the bottom, dude. All right, back on track, 63%. I think Polar Geist is possible using only the cube. And I think this is probably going to be the only level that's going to be 100% possible. But that blows my mind because I didn't think there were going to be any possible levels using just the cube. But I think it is just from the way the ship section works because it's just a bunch of cubes floating in the air, right? Watch this. Boom. And now, yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness, no spikes. Let's go. Okay. And I think there's just a little staircase up here. Oh, it's possible. Let's do the hard coin. Oh, yes. That's rude. Dude, I didn't think I was going to be able to say this today, but Polar Geist is possible using only the cube. Wild. Now for the rest of the levels, it's mostly just going to be what's the highest percentage we can get in each of these levels using only the cube. Because dry out, it sure looks impossible. We're not getting through the ship section. <laughs> Most of the earlier levels is just cube gameplay. And so I'm just basically playing dry out until I get to the ship. <laughs> like there's no changes. Where in the other videos, like it sure felt a lot different going through with game modes that aren't even available in these Rob Top levels, right? These initial Rob Top levels. Although we're making it pretty far just because the ship section has not begun yet. And you know what? We, we were able to make the first few jumps in the ship section. All right, we're going into it. But then we get to this 74%. We cannot. Oh, that was close. You see? You see how I almost jumped over it? I don't think there's any way to get over that, though, because if we were to be able to get over that, the top cube on the, like, stack of three would have to be over just a little bit, like Sakupin circle style, you know? But it's not, so there's no way we can get over there. Dry out, we can get to 74%. Dry out was a little interesting because we could go into the ship section for, like, quite a ways, actually, which was cool. Base after base, I think as soon as we turn to the ship, where we're supposed to turn to the ship, I think we're just dead. And there we go. <laughs> this is where a ship portal is supposed to be. And we just jump and we can get up to 53% on base after base. Can't Let Go is also another level where as soon as we turn to the ship, I think we're pretty much toast. Although we might be able to get a couple jumps into the ship section. All right, let's see what happens here. I think I can jump on this edge here and get over the triple spike though, can't I? Yeah! I can, which can bring it up to 59%, baby. And then after that, we're just screwed. The ball video certainly was a little more interesting. However, I do want to do this with all the game modes just, just to see what it's like. Jumper, we're just going to die right away. I like that I get to play these Rob Top levels kind of semi-normally like this. And that's it. Okay, so Jumper is just 25% cycles. As soon as we change into the ball, there's a big spike wall. All right, here we go. Splats! Cycles. 38% X-Step. I don't know if the ball part's actually possible with the cube. That would be awesome if it was, though. Like, watch this. Oh, see, look. Look, I knew it. I knew. Look at that jump. 
Yeah! Oh, we're going, son! Oh, dude! Dude! Look at us go! Okay, I think that's as far as we can go, though. Okay, that was cool, though. Oh, come on, hit that portal, bro. Bro! Bro! You can't hit the portal and you can't jump there. Oh, that sucks, dude. It's so close. No, you can't get it. Darn, so close. We got to do some cool jumps, though. Next step, you can get to 14%, which is actually one of the least percentages we could get to, but it was one of the most exciting. Time machine is just going to be as soon as we get to the ship, it's game over. Once we get into the later levels, I'm hoping there's going to be some that are going to be kind of interesting that we can get through like some parts where we don't start going into the ship right away. And then we can get through some sections like an X step because an X step, you notice like when we went to a ball section, it was quite interesting. I'm hoping we get some other like game mode sections like that. And there we go. There it is. Time machine. 35%. I mixed up the order. I did time machine after X step. So Clutterfunk is going to be just once we get to the ship after the mini cube, it's just GG's. Okay, here we go. Plunk. But we might be able to get 30%. No, we can't even. It's just such a tiny jump with the mini, you know? Although we might now, I was going to say, maybe we can like change into the big cube and then jump if we could jump right at the edge, but that's impossible. Clutterfunk, we can get to 29%. Theory of everything, we're also going to die quite close to the beginning, but we might be able to make it like a few jumps in to the ship section. So we're supposed to be a ship here and we can jump there. But then like, I think we can jump up that staircase, but then we're just met with spikes right at 12% and just splat right here. We definitely can't do anything about that. Theory of everything, 12%. So a lot of these old levels, the way they work is it's cube and then it goes right into ship. Right? Because there's not many game modes to work with at this point. So Electroman is no different. As soon as we get to the part where we're supposed to be the ship, we get to 13% and we're just toast. 13%. Wouldn't it be cool if we could get through some of this ship part? Like, we could make this jump. Like, from here down to here, down to the yellow portal. We could definitely make that. And that would be so cool. But there's just such a long time of nothing. Well, there we go. Did the intro. And now... Ah! We just splat at 26% and there's nothing you can do about it. So club step is 26%. Yeah, Electrodynamics, another one where the first game mode transition from the cube is a ship. And so we're not going to be making it that far. I think I might revisit the robot game mode one because I did that a while ago where like I just played levels where people had swapped up the cube for the robot in levels. And it was quite interesting. But I might actually revisit the robot game mode for this particular challenge where we see how far we can get because the extra jump distance might actually be able to get us a little bit further than the cube. Because the cube, like as soon as you turn into the ship, you're usually just toast. Electrodynamics, 25%. This one I thought was going to be cool. And then I realized that you change into a ship right away. The unfortunate thing is in that ship section, it looks like it's quite possible, except it's just the first jump looks impossible. So like right here, like if you could get past this, you might actually be able to uh, get through the rest of the ship section. Okay, never mind. That's a long corridor of spikes. Last processing will be a little bit interesting because at least we can get through a part of the wave because the wave slopes don't kill you. You can just ride on them for a while. Woo! And then you get to that part and it's GG's boy. So let's see how far we can get. Can we get to 19%? No, I'm still at 18. Okay, so blast processing is 18%. This is one of the dumbest videos ever, isn't it? Now I wonder, this ship section here in TOE2, it actually looks somewhat possible at some points. Of course, once we get to the UFO, we're screwed. Okay, here we go. And we change into the mini. So I can, no, wait, wait, wait. You've got to be able to jump over that. Yeah. Oh, I made it. You see that? Oh, ah! you can just hold down the button. Watch this. Wait, wait, what? So you jump up, you fall down and then you hold down the button again. Dude, that is that is crazy. I love that. That's actually a thing. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get up there to even get like one extra jump in. I think it's just that's it. Theory of everything, too, we can get to 17%, and it makes me so happy that you can get through that mini ship section just as the cube. Geometrical Dominator, I don't think we're going to be able to do this one because the robot jumps, you need to jump, like, quite far. And I think we're just going to die, like, even in this initial robot section. Can we get through the robot section using only the cube? 
We might be able to. It's an introduction to the robot. Yeah, like, look at that. That's supposed to be a long jump. We did. Who even needs the robot? It's the exact same as the cube. Stinky robot. Oh, we did it. We got through the robot section and then plunk. We just die there right at the ship. All right. So geometrical dominator is 18%, but we were able to get through the robot. Deadlocked. There's the wave part. We're just dead at the very beginning. Very beginning. No sense in setting anything else up. Plunk. Deadlock. 2%. Wait, can we get 3%? No. <laughs> Can we even get to the spider? So this video wasn't particularly interesting. There were interesting moments for sure, but it wasn't as exciting as some of the other game modes, but I felt like I had to give the cube a fair shake, it being the OG game mode. However, uh, yeah, it's pretty clear that the cube does not translate to other game modes. Ah, uh, that, that's it. Boom, can't even make it over that gap, huh? We can't even get to the place we normally get to in Finger Dash, which is like the part where there's the pillars. Finger Dash, 40%. So the cube is really limited in its mobility, which makes it actually like quite a fun game mode when you're going through sections that are built around it because you are super limited. So you, you know, you have to use a lot of things like jump pads and jump orbs to get you to move around and it's really satisfying. And so like, yeah, it's a great game mode. It's just damn, dude. It doesn't translate to other game modes like other game modes translate to other particular game modes, you know? Ball, you can move all around the screen. The wave, you can move all around the screen, the ship. And so like when you put the cube in a section like that, it's just like instant death, you know? You don't really make it much further as the cube in sections that are dedicated to other game modes in contrast to things like the UFO where you can wiggle your way around, right? So we did have some interesting moments with X-Step and Theory of Everything too, and Polar Geist for that matter, the only one that we were able to 100% complete. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, peace.